You ever heard the saying, happy wife, happy life? So I'm about to go away on a six day sales trip and a sale, not a sale, selling sales trip, a sailing trip, excuse me. And um, look at this here. You know what this is? Uh, it's that before I go, I got to get the hot tub installed. So I got a lot of pressure, but I was just thinking for the sale trip, I make swag for the guys. Why? Because I'm in this business, right? And I like to do stuff that's very cool. And I want you to follow me through because I don't think people actually understand what's involved. And I started it, but my wife came by and said, why don't you put this on video and show people how quickly you switch stuff. So don't show this video to the guys on the sail trip on the hunter sailboat because I don't want them to know how easy it is. I want them to look at it and go, wow, this is amazing. I can't believe all the effort you put into it. So it's our little secret, but just follow me through. It's going to be live and impromptu because I'm in a rush and I got to go. But it's an example of how you as an owner of our laser equipment can generate a significant amount of sales in a short period of time with a high profit margin with a lot of changes. So I've got large XL and 2XL and I've got very high-end stuff from Sandmar in this case, really good quality stuff that I want to give the guys on the trip and I'm going to put it all in a bag. And I already did the hat because it gets pretty cold in the Great Lakes and I'm just doing the shirt and the shirt is a style that has a different color in it to make everybody look thin like they have a six pack. <laughs> but I think there's going to be more having six packs in a case than having them here. So let's just follow me through and we'll get this done, okay? So here's the uh, artwork I got. And if you just scan down here, here are the dies. And I've got the same stuff on the laser, all right? And I take a scrap shirt. And I always test before, so I wanted to, Toll 7 is trip of a lifetime and it's her seventh trip and we're going on Georgian Bay 2013. This was just a test shirt. And here I did the toques already. I turned it inside out, okay? And what I'll end up doing is there's a couple key words or phrases that each one of the guys gets teased about and for me it's sandwich. I said wouldn't that be a nice place to have a sandwich? Z-A-N-D because I have the German Austrian background. So I'll put my sandwich in here and there's another guy who <laughs> he works for the government and uh, he plays a lot of Yahtzee. <laughs> Sorry if you... <laughs> it's the truth right? He's got so much time and none of us guys in the private sector. So we call him Yahtzee because he's always doing crosswords in Yahtzee. So his hat's going to say that inside. But anyways, now I got to figure out what's on the left chest. And of course, I always get my wife involved to choose that. And this logo is obviously too big. And I don't want to screw it up because I've got basically five guys, five shirts. I think I said six was only five of us. And uh, in order for me not to mess this up, I'm just going to go and put some tape on here. And I already when my wife came by, I already did this logo here and I'm going to go put it on the laser right now. And this is an XL, so I'll pick mine first always. And this is how easy it is to register. So I'm going to get it square, basically a quarter inch above the tape, place it down here and I'm going to fire away. Let's see what I got here for a setting, okay. And as I let it run, I'll see if I need to do a second hit again. So I'm looking at the collar here. And I've got, based on, this is what's so cool now, I put, I put the tape on a pile, which is wrong. You should do it on a flat table. And I can see that my tape from the collar is going up. And I can quickly adjust that here. So go straight across. I don't even need to use the tape, but I could tell because the box told me that. So I want the box parallel to the placket and the collar here. All right. So now you see the result is different, a little bit darker. I always do my shirt first. And this one, just to prove a point, I'll do it without the tape. Just 
get this over here. Totally flat. Well, I'm just going to put this up here so it doesn't roll down on me because it's a 2X shirt. That fan is one of the demo fans, a bit noisy because it gets the most abuse getting tested hundreds and hundreds of times on and off. With all the demos that go through and all the machines that we build. Done. Notice that the next one's already set up. Just check the size of this one. It's also a 2X shirt, so I'll keep it in the same spot. Remember I want this folded up here a bit. And you know, shirts aren't perfect, right? The, the sewing, if you start to look at it, is a little bit different because it's still done pretty much by hand. And you're able to adjust that, no, not a problem. And after this, I got a large one. So I've gone XL two times, double XL two times, and one large. Now I'll put on the large, and if this logo is too big, I can downsize it a little bit, but it's, it's fine in this space here. Straight line across with your visual and you're done. Pat that down. done. So what we'll do over here on this shirt guys is uh, I'll end up probably um, putting a debossing right on here on the sleeve so it's very cool that way and I'll set that up and I'll show you that. I like to not make decisions when I'm in a rush so I got my wife to decide that we'll put the logo on in this format right here across the front and I will go from um, this is the 2XL one so I'll lay it in over here. And again, I got this big red thing. So happy wife, happy life, right? Okay, so now I just want to put a weight over there so it doesn't move while I'm uh, etching. You put a weight down there. Here, just put this on so it doesn't slide away. And put the sleeve on so it won't slide away here. There we go, ready? Let's check my setting. And here we go. That'll look amazing afterwards, right? It's really high-end stuff, and you do something that's unique and totally different. So I'm done here. So just take a look here. I got one hand space on the 2X. That's how accurate it has to be. Oops. Just check that this next one is 2X. Bring that in here. One hand space. Get it aligned with the zipper. Put a weight on so it won't slide. Lift up the arm. Make it flat. And even if it's lifted up in the corner, it's not a big deal. And just check my alignment again. And we're in business. Here we go. This stuff from Ogeo is so beautiful. I don't want to pick brands or anything, but man, oh man, I like what I do. And when you still get excited after all these years, it's a good feeling. And it's something that you can have as well, you know? Look how dark and rich that comes out. You can never embroider that. It was always pucker and look like hell afterwards, after a wash or two. So our rep is Scott at uh, Sandmar. He's going to love. We'll send him this link on the video. And we are done. Next. So now I got another size. Look at this. I mean, I don't know if the light gives it off. And I got one more thing to do to this to make it totally stunning. I'm not even done yet. 
So now check the size always. And this one is a large. So I'm going to leave that one to the end because the large might just be too small to wear, use this size logo on. And this one doesn't seem to be as heavy because it's not nearly as much material. Check that it's straight here. Do me a favor, look at this here. I want to I point something out. There's a bump here, and there's the material rising here because it lifted up, and I still don't have issues. And that's what's so cool about the technology. It's so forgiving because the last time I checked, and I, I don't know if I said it before, so I don't want to sound like a broken record, but the last time I checked, nobody who got laid off at NASA went to work at your factory to do this type of production work. They don't exist. So. Some of them will probably buy the equipment and make a business, but they won't do the production work. So you've got to have it to be totally foolproof, right? And I've got to be able to fly through these things and just do something very cool for my buddies. Okay, so the hand spacing again so that it works. Look at the zipper. See how the zipper is curved here? So I'm going to compensate just a little bit and press this material down here so it doesn't lift up. Make sure it's all steady. Get this out of the way here and fire away. So then the other cool thing is, uh, if you go back there for a second, what I've got is, and this year I got smart, right? Because I, I planned for it. So this is T-O-A-L 7, 8, and 9, because now I'm doing it ahead of the time. And th these are the initials of all the guys. That's uh, my, the Dr. R&R, and, &R, and that's R-H there. So these are all the nautical flags for each of the guys. One of the guys, <laughs> he's on the crew, but he got bumped, so when he gets back on, he'll, he'll get his again. But it's here. And I'll also put some color in with a heat transfer. This is that solution stuff. But they will get all their swag. So I'll cut this one out. And they'll have that here on the, on the zipper of the bag. Oops, I better do it the right way. So it'll be here. And then their initials will be in some other spot so they can identify themselves. Maybe on this side here or one of the sides, I'll put the initials on. So that makes it a really nice touch and all the things they get come in that uh, bag. Okay, so now we got that done. And what I'll do is follow me and we'll just set up the embossing. So I'm over at the embossing machine and like I said, I still got to put the hot tub in and I got to make it up to the marina this afternoon. So I got so much going on. Now, the way this die is, I maxed out, but because of the shape of it, I went over the uh, size of my jig and I got to do a sleeve. I got to find a way of doing this. So I'm going to cheat by putting the stupid thing on diagonally. 
but because I have the laser set up, I can twist it and I can just put the garment on and deal with it and hold it down, etc. So I'll do the best I can and uh, we'll go from there. There's always tricks to doing everything, but again, the whole point is that I'm taking time out to do something for my friends, but it's so darn quick and uh, it's done with love. Some people get so afraid of what's involved and how to set up and why it's such a mystery. Let me tell you one thing's for sure. This is like a thousand times easier than embroidery ever is. There's so much to do with design software, all the problems to deal with thread tension, bobbin. The mechanical side of an embroidery machine requires a tremendous amount of uh, effort. And I, it's hard to see on the camera, but there's the bottom of the word seven. There's my piece right here. Put this on to hold that down. Watch sure I don't hit the camera there. So just look for that seam over here, it's down, put the leather over here so that thing can't move or get hit with the heat. Fold and register my garment here. Center it. A little bit higher just so I don't have the seam get in the way. Make sure it's flat underneath. So I put like a baby finger space in there. The garment is slightly off on an angle. I'm putting this leather down so that no way can there be a mistake with regards to hitting and making a heat mark on the garment. This is a piece of cardboard. Make sure it's all up in the air, turn it around. Have my setting set up, centered. And it's hitting. Now please, don't you tell me that that isn't stunning. And look on the inside here. That's what's on the inside. And that's not rough, that's totally soft against the skin, but that's a pretty cool piece. It makes the original look pretty sad. <laughs> see that? Sorry, but the truth is the truth. I mean, can you see that? And it totally outperforms it completely. That, that's a decoration that's gonna last a lifetime. Okay. Uh, you've seen me do a couple videos on this, it's just because the other one, this was heated up, ready to go, it's being shipped to somewhere, the other one wasn't ready. This is the smaller machine, but I have a significantly smaller workspace. The advantage on the other machine is that I've got like way more clearance here and way more clearance on the other side. So I'm going to hit this one more time because I had the cardboard in the way there when I went in. So I can have more workspace, more productivity, less uh, issues with setting up and being careful because I have more room for these large garments that come up.